everybody. It's been kind of a long time since I've gotten the chance to, to do one of these, but it's a little bit difficult sometimes kind of balancing my active toddler. She's pretty tired right now, so she's um, keeping chill. I hope it lasts for a little while, but I'm really happy to be shooting this video today, and I just kind of wanted to do an Ask Sherry. So um, it's questions that I received online, and I kind of wrote them out in my terribly messy writing, and I'm gonna read them to you and give you an answer. So. The first one is from Cindy and it says, do you ever revisit the homes you have fixed up? Yes, we have. Um, me specifically, yes. Not in a little while actually. I would love to visit some of them, um, but I haven't really had the chance. I really want to go to High Park soon. I wanted to take my daughter to High Park and you know, we were away filming and um, then COVID. So now it's kind of not really the best time, but there are other jobs we have visited um, I do enjoy seeing the work we've done, what, you know, homeowners have done with the place. It's just, and it's kind of nice nostalgia, fun feeling, you know? Yay, something fun we got to do. Um, the second one is from Harry, and he said, what you, your family, and your crew do is amazing, how you help other families. I always wondered how you find them. Um, it's actually a question we get asked quite a bit, um, and it's mostly, mostly through online um, inquiries, and you kind of go to our, our website and fill out uh, an email or explain your story to us. Um, we have done call outs through social media. Uh, we have actually done jobs from people we know and, and sometimes the people closest to you are the ones that need the most help. So it's kind of word of mouth and emails and any way you can really get a hold of us. Um, we do get a lot, a lot, a lot of requests, um, which is good and bad. It's hard to see that so many people need, need help and so many people have been taken advantage of, but um, Hopefully that'll change in the future, but yes. Uh, this one is from David. Hi, David. And he says, do you have podcasts? Um, fun story. I'm actually, I've always been so terrified to do a podcast. I don't know why. I haven't listened to them very much myself. I've started to. I've never enjoyed recording my voice. So um, even like if I get a call on my cell phone, I just say my name. I don't like, you know, filming myself recording my voice. I still like the sound of my own voice. I, I don't know if that's a fairly common thing. So the idea of doing podcasts was always a little bit um, intimidating to me, but we did start doing a podcast um, with, out of Improve Canada. I think we did, my dad and I did our first one maybe last week. I'm, I'm having a hard time keeping track of the days, but uh, yeah, so it was done really recently and it's pretty interesting. It's kind of nice because it's, uh, it's just talking and you know, I talk a lot, so it worked for me. <laughs> um, this is again from David. Who is the prankster of the group? Uh, that is a good question. Um, I'd like to say me, but it's not true. I don't really pull plant pranks. I'm not, I'm not good at jokes, I always mess something up. I'm not a good liar, like everyone knows everything I mean to say and what I'm thinking. Um, I would probably go with um, Derek. Or Michael, yeah, I, I think so. They always like to have the most fun. They like to scare you. They like to just be a pain in the butt, whatever they can be. I would say one of those two for sure, or both. This one's from Diana and it says, do homeowners get to say in the final product or is it a complete surprise when you do the reveal? Um, I think it depends. It depends on the different series we filmed. It depends on the house we're doing, the work we're doing. We have taken into consideration what homeowners want, what they're asking for, what they're looking for. Um, you know, those are kind of questions we'll ask them. Like, what are you thinking? Did you want a white kitchen? And then we turn and give them a blue kitchen. So sometimes we do need to know the basics, um, but you know, surprises are fun. And it's nice to make kind of an idea for someone that you know that they'll love but still not let them really in on it all the way. So um, I'd say yes and no, but probably mostly, most of it is a surprise. We don't, like I hate, I hate when people see what's going on and what we're doing because it just kind of, I don't know, it ruins the fun out of it for me. Not ruins the fun, that's a little bit drastic, but it, it takes away from that feeling when you're done and you're giving it back to a homeowner and just seeing their faces when they take in the space for the first time. So I do prefer this, the surprise a thousand, a thousand percent, but we always take into consideration what people want, what they need. Um, different shows have been, have different kind of, we've not different rules, but different, uh, I don't know, different rules, sure, I'll go with that. 
Um, so sh some shows they had no say, we did whatever. Some shows they had a lot of say and some shows we take into their ideas into consideration and just kind of make their vision come to life through us sort of. So anyway, that was really fun. So uh, please submit me some more questions. I'm gonna go take care of this rascal, hopefully put her down for, for a nap so uh, you know, mommy can get some more work done. And I hope everyone has a great day and I'll see you soon.